Hi, in this video we're going to draw this isometric exercise that is shown in front of you. So I hope you enjoy it. At the beginning of this video I'd like to mention that this line along the edge is not inclined like this but the paper from which the photo was taken was not flattened enough. So don't worry about it so let's start drawing. Select the line tool and start drawing. From here we have a line that has a length of 62. After that we draw another line in this direction. Its length is 45 and hit a 5 to change the isoplane. Now write 110 and we have a thickness of 12. But before writing the thickness we have to make the curves here. These curves, this one and this one, all of them has a radius of 12. Select the line tool and draw a line in this section of 12 and 12 in this section. The same for the other direction. We draw a line of 12 and 12 to this direction. And now we can go to ellipse, axis end, and isocircle. And now we can draw okay. Now we can trim. And delete this one. Now select everything and copy from here going upward a distance of 12 that is the thickness okay now we draw a line sorry line from the quadrant point this is the quadrant point and trim now select the line tool and draw a line that has a distance of 12 and from this line we can draw a horizontal line going a distance of 110 okay now we trim and delete this one this line can be copied from here up to here after that, from the midpoint, we draw a vertical line that has a length of 62 minus 12, that is 50. Okay, now move this line from this point, but before that, draw this line, the small segment, horizontal one, and move this line from here up to here. We can make sure that they are aligned by copying this line from this point up to this point, so they are aligned. We can also copy this line from here up to here okay and also this line but before that we start drawing the circle we have here a circle that has a, a diameter of 30 so we go to axis end isocircle and hit F5 
to change the isoplane and right 15. Trim this circle and trim everything inside it. And now draw another one from the same center point. And this one, the bigger one, has a diameter of 50, so its radius is 25. And trim it again. Now we can move we can move this segment um, a distance of 12. Select the line tool and draw a line that has a length of 12 and go down 12 again. And now we can select the isocircle F5, trim and trim again. Now we draw we do the same thing for the other direction. Isocircle. We can also write down the values like 12. And now trim. Okay, now copy or draw a vertical line that has length of or just copy them now copy CO from here up to here delete this one and also this one In order to draw the line from here up to here, keep in mind that the distance from here up to here is 23 and the thickness of this plate is 12. So the distance from here up to here is 23 plus 12. That is 35. So we draw a line, select the line tool and draw a line that has a length of 35. Now copy this line. by writing CO and copy it from here up to here. Okay. Now trim these lines and also this one. This isocircle, the bigger one, is drawn just as a reference, not intended to be part of the drawing. So we use it to draw the other line from this point Okay, and now we draw a small segment. Now we can trim repeat the command and now copy this line from this point up to this point and the same for this line, the small segment. Now you can delete this one. Okay, but before trimming this one, we can draw it again, never mind. F5 to change the isoplane, draw a horizontal line to trim. Now move it from here up to here. Okay, now we have this vertical distance as 10. Select the line tool and draw a line of 10. This line has to be copied from here up to here. The same for this line. Uh, 
as you see here the distance from here up to here is 40 so we draw a line from here up to here and now we draw another line here that has a length of 40 and move it from this point to the center point now we draw a small line segment that has a length of 22 and move it from here to the midpoint of this line and move it again a horizontal distance of 23 this line represents this line okay now we can draw lines from here up to here and the same for this direction now we can remove this one and trim this one the same for this one okay now we draw another line that has a length of 23 and copy this one from here up to here now you can trim it and trim this one as well now draw another line from here from the quadrant point to the other quadrant point and trim the extension here we have this cut on the base of this uh, shape this cut has a length of 60 and the thickness is 6 units so we draw a small line from here this is it its length is 6 and we draw a horizontal line of 60 and we can move it from this point up to this point now we can copy this line from this point up to this point and this point delete the source line and trim this one now draw a small horizontal line in this direction and trim select this one trim again okay the last part of this drawing is the small silk circles this this one and this one and this one and this one as well their diameter is 12 so we select isocircle and we have here the center point we just write 6 now we can cover this circle from this center point to this center point the same thing we can do for the vertical ones hit F5 and right 6 now copy from the center point to the other center point now you can trim what is left here and this is the final shape of the drawing the last thing is this line and finally this small line has to be removed from here and this is the final shape so that was the end of this video thanks for watching please do not forget to subscribe and like and share bye